Hi guys, so today we are going to be making this beautiful hot pot dish inspired by Nando's, of course. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with the hot pot, so I had to recreate it in my own way. Okay, so I started off with cutting my chicken into small little pieces and then seasoning it with some salt, some chicken spice, um, some cayenne pepper for a little bit of heat, as well as some black peppercorns. And then go ahead and massage all those lovely spices into your meat. Guys, I don't know why I was having so much fun massaging this thing. It was so therapeutic, my gosh. But yes, then after you want to put that aside for an hour just so that, you know, the meat can soak in all those spices. Then I use some tomato sauce, some um, mayonnaise, as well as some sweet and um, sticky uh, sauce for marinade. Then you want to just, you know, massage it again. <laughs> just massage it again or just mix it up. You know? Then you want to heat up your pan and add some oil. Mine was a little bit too hot, hence why the oil is just, listen, it's fighting me at this point. But yes, and then just add your chicken in so that it can brown up um, and mix it up nicely um, so that it can cook thoroughly. You know, I think I did this. This was, I did not cook it for a long time. I did not do this for a long time. I think this was like 10 minutes because we are going to cook it with the rice and the veggies um a bit later so i added a little bit of six gun banana if you know me you know i love my six gun like to me it is the hill okay i added some chili um and then some red green and yellow peppers as well as an onion one onion then mix that up nicely um there we go there's the mixing <laughs> yes continue mixing that up thereafter our rice goes in i cleaned my rice before i added it in so yeah i didn't soak it though i just cleaned out the starch i guess and then added it into the chicken mixture and then used some mild and spicy raja the yellow one um i think about three teaspoons not tips teaspoons sorry tablespoons um, and then you mix it up. Then just cover up your your pot or your pan with a lid so that the rice can cook through i also added a little bit of spinach you know this is optional you can do it if you don't want to do it you don't have to or actually alternatively you can use cabbage if you don't have spinach cabbage works very well as well in this recipe and then obviously the star of the dish the nando's hot sauce because this is where that nando's flavor of that hot pot is from you get it's from these beautiful um sauces that nando's makes and then because we are not people that waste i had to add a little bit of water in that in that bottle and shake it up because it was almost done and then there it goes in and then just mix it up nicely um and close up the the pot again and let the rice cook for an extra I think the whole cooking process after adding the rice is about 20-25 minutes. It doesn't really take long. Um, but medium heat. Don't put it on high heat because your rice will probably burn. Okay. I'll say 15-20 to 20 minutes actually just to be safe. Um, and yeah, this was it. I was done at this point. Because I had it on high heat, my rice did start developing a little bit of stickiness on the under on the on the bottom on the underneath well on the bottom but it didn't burn thankfully um so yeah just be sure to put your your stove on medium heat this is my hot pot it looks so beautiful it tastes even you know what's great um and i'm giving nando's a run for their money i won't lie this was just it almost tasted the same obviously not the same because i made it my own but it tasted very very much like the hot pot but yeah